Hey students, and welcome to the derivation of the vector projection formula. Uh, basically says that the projection of a uh, vector u onto vector v is given by this formula here. Uh, vector u does have v over the magnitude of v squared uh, multiplied by v vector v. Okay, if you look at this expression right here, this is a scalar quantity being multiplied by a vector. So it's, a, it's like a scalar, a scalar multiple of a vector. Okay? So, in order to give you the uh, geographic understanding of what we're about to prove or the meaning of the projection of two vectors of a vector onto another, I'm going to use this uh, graph right here, this uh, vector um, vector diagram to illustrate uh, the, the visual um, representation of the projection of vectors. Okay, so let's start by naming the vectors. Let's call this black vector right here vector u, vector u, and let's call this vector right here vector v okay all right so what what does the um projection look like well we're going to be projecting uh vector u this vector onto this vector okay so what does it look like the projection of u onto this vector is basically is basically the component of u um in the direction of v so something like this all right so this piece we have right here is basically the projection of vector u um, on onto V. So, uh, in order to see, make sure this is correct, I'm just going to draw a, a dotted line from this tip straight down to this tip right here uh, to construct my uh, projection. Okay, so this vector that we have just created down here um, is is the projection of, of U onto V. Okay, so let's go ahead and name it. Let's name this vector right here. Let's name it um, vector P. Okay, so what is vector P? Uh, that the P is the projection, the projection P or OJ of U, vector U, onto vector V. Okay? And our goal is basically what we want to do in this derivation is we want to show, we want to show V1 to show that, we want to show that, um, that vector P, which is the projection of a vector U onto V, um, equals uh, quantity U dot V, vector U dot with V, divided by the magnitude of vector V square multiplied by a vector V. Okay? So this is what we're, we're um, supposed to show. This is the objective of the whole derivation. Okay? So um, before we start, all I just need you to know is that the vector, all vectors have two components, like we know. Uh, vectors have two things. They have a magnitude and direction, right? So what we're going to do is to construct vector P, all we just need is we just need the magnitude of this vector right here. So for vector P, we need its magnitude. And we want to... So this, ve this vector with a specific magnitude, we want it pointing in the same direction as vector v. So um, we need the direction. Okay? So we're going to do this one at a time. We're going to find a, the magnitude of this vector p, and then we'll find um, the direction, and it will we'll combine them together to create uh, uh, the projection of u into v, which is vector p. Okay? So let's start off by constructing the magnitude of vector v, of vector p, okay? So magnitude, magnitude of vector p. Okay, after that, then we'll go ahead and look for the, look for the, the direction, okay? So to find the magnitude of vector p, all we just need is basically, we're just going to use the scalar component, let me explore this out, the scalar component of u, um, uh, on in this direction, okay. So in order to do that, we just use basic uh, right angle trigonometry. So we use um, right angle tri uh, trig. Remember Sukhatoa, right? So you you know that cosine cosine theta is basically um, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay. So um, we're going to be used uh, taking a look at 
the magnitude of the vectors to represent the, the, the side lengths. All right, so let's go ahead and construct a, a triangle. So we have, this is vector u, and we need, and then we need this, this the component in this direction. So if this is vector u, right here, and this is vector p, which is what we constructed above, we know that vector v is somewhere here, but this is the component of u in projected right on top of vector vector v, okay? So, um, what can we construct here? Well, I know that if this, let's say, the angle be between these two is theta, okay? I know that the length of this side is the magnitude of u, and the length of this side right here is the magnitude of p. So, what we have basically constructed is just created a right triangle, okay? I'll just put the line here. So what what is the relationship between these two these two sides right here? I know that um, this is my this is my this is my hypotenuse, and this is my adjacent, right? This is my adjacent. So using the connection that cosine is adjacent of a hypotenuse from so far, so if you remember that, we know that cosine theta is uh, the magnitude of vector p, uh, which is adjacent divided divided by uh, the hypotenuse, which is the magnitude of vector, of vector, um, vector u, okay? All right, so there you have it. Let me just scroll up a little bit so you see. So what we're doing is we're using, see this triangle right here? That's what we're using. So this is theta right here, and this is the magnitude of vector u, and this length right here is the magnitude of vector p. So we're relating these two uh, sides of this right triangle using a uh, right triangle trigonometry. So cosine is a connection here, because we have the adjacent and you have hypotenuse. So this triangle I just created is just that piece of what I have above. So you have this, um, you have this right here. So if I want to isolate vector p, I'll multiply both sides by the magnitude of vector u, like that. And then using the reflective property of equality, I can rewrite this as a uh, magnitude of vector p equals the magnitude of vector u times cosine theta, okay? This is known as the scalar component of vector u in the direction of vector v, okay? So I'm just showing you how to divide it. All right, so um, let's uh, call this formula number one. Now, we're going to stop here, and then the next thing we're going to use is uh, the whole idea of the, the dot product, okay? So you have two vectors separated by uh, by angle theta. What is the dot product? Okay, so let's write it down. If um, two vectors, let's say, let's just call them vectors um, u and v. Vectors u and v. Um, if two vectors u and v are separated by uh, the angle theta, then remember the dot product formula, u dot vector u dot the vector v is going to be uh, the magnitude of vector u times the magnitude of vector v uh, cosine theta, okay? So in this, if we, if we go back up to this construct right here, notice that u and v have the same angle because uh, the projection is, is right on top of vector v. So the, the angle between uh, u and p is exactly the same as the angle between u and v, all right? So when we're considering u and v, we're using exactly the same angle theta here, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so now we're dotting u and vector v. We are, we, we are not dealing with this for now. We'll just forget about that for a second, okay? So um, we have this expression right here. So what I want to do is I want to make a substitution into equation one. I want to get rid of this cosine. So if I can isolate cosine from this uh, dot product equation, then I can substitute the value up in here to get a nice representation of the magnitude of vector p, which is a projection of u into v. Okay. So to do that, all I'll have to do is uh, simply divide both sides by the magnitude of u over the magnitude of v. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So divide by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Uh oh, I'm write that properly. Divide by the magnitude of u. This is um, 
times the magnitude of B on the left side and then on the right side the same story divided by the magnitude of U times the magnitude of V so this divides out these two magnitudes divides out to one and then these two magnitudes divide out to one and then you're going to have cosine theta equals vector u dotted with vector v divided by the magnitude of vector u times the magnitude of vector v. Okay? Now let's call this equation number two. Now what we're going to do is if we substitute um, this for cosine theta in one, then we'll have a new equation. Okay, so let me write what we're going to do. So we substitute substitute uh, u dot v over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v for cosine theta. This came from equation 2, right? For cosine theta in equation 1. Okay, so we're going to take uh, this whole story and we're going to plug it in right here, okay? So let's see what it looks like. So if we make that uh, substitution, uh, we're going to have, um, turn that down, the magnitude of P equals the magnitude of U, vector U, so instead of writing cosine theta, I'm going to write this, this entire expression right here. Uh, let me put that in green to illustrate the substitution times uh, the magnitude of V, I'm sorry, times vector u times v vector v over the magnitude of u of vector u times the magnitude of vector v. Okay? So that's what you get when you make a substitution. Alright, if you notice, um, you can reduce this a little bit. These two can divide out. So, the uh, magnitude of vector u goes here once, the magnitude of vector u goes here once. So this simplifies um, into uh, the magnitude of vector p equals um, vector u dot every vector v divided by the magnitude of vector v. Okay? So guess what we have just accomplished? We have just determined the magnitude of the projection of u onto v. Okay? So this is basically um, the magnitude. All right, but I told you earlier that a vector has two components, right? The vector has um, a magnitude and a direction. So we need this vector that we're creating, vector p. If I can find the, the direction of this vector, then, um, then I can combine it with the magnitude to create uh, the accurate representation of vector p, okay? So part two, we want to find the direction the direction um, of, of, uh, of the projection, or vector P, okay? So all we just simply do is uh, find what, what is the unit, it's going in the direction of V, right? So what is the unit vector for this um, vector right here? I want to multiply this magnitude with just the sign, with just the direction, okay? So all we just need is we just use... Um, uh, we need the unit vector, unit vector in the direction of V. Okay, and what is that? If you remember your unit vector direction, all you simply do is divide V by its magnitude. Sorry. Yeah, divide vector v by its magnitude, and that's basically the unit vector in the direction of v. Alright? So, uh, this is what I'm looking for right here. So, this is a unit vector that basically doesn't change the magnitude. All it just does is it just adds a sign or a direction to, to this magnitude right here. Okay? So, we have the, this is the direction that I need that's a missing piece to create my vector. So, now I'm going to combine this vector, this direction. So that's magnitude, this is direction. I'm going to combine this direction and this magnitude to create vector P. Okay? So vector P is simply going to become the magnitude, which is uh, u, ve vector u, dotted with vector v over the magnitude of v, 
Note that this full expression is a scalar quantity, okay? The magnitude it has no sign. This is a vector quantity, but the magnitude of this vector is 1. So it doesn't change the size of this magnitude, okay? So I'm going to just, it's like a scalar multiple of a vector. So I'm going to multiply the scalar by this vector right here, vector V. And this combination is a magnitude and a sign. A magnitude and a direction or a sign, let's say the same thing, okay? So multiply that. All right, so I'm going, and now what I'm going to do is um, make it look, look nicer, so you find a little bit. So you have to be really careful that there's no associated property on the dot product, okay? So you cannot say that u dot v dotted with u is equal to um, u dotted with u. Let's say u dot v dotted with uh, u is the same thing as u dotted with v dot u. You can't, you can't say this. There's no associated property with, with vectors. So you have to be really careful with the with your uh, simplification here, okay? So since I cannot reassociate this right here, I must multiply these two vectors first before I deal with that. But in the denominator, this is a scalar and this is a scalar, and we know that um, numbers or scalar quantities, there is no, there is associated property with that. It doesn't really matter. So I can simply multiply the denominators here without any problem. So I can write this as vector P equals u dot vector u dot it would be first is to multiply these two denominators is going to be the magnitude of vector v square okay now we can then multiply by vector v okay these two must happen first before you multiply with vector v you cannot you cannot bring this in here okay because association is, is there's no associated property um with vectors if you reassociate the order of dots in the products, then you change, you're going to get a different answer, right? So there you have it. So this is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, this formula is the formula for uh, the projection. So let's rewrite that completely. So this equals that, and this is equal to the projection of vector u onto vector v. We have the minus 10 direction combined together, and we simplify it into this form, and that's, that's it. Okay. Oh okay, yeah, just a quick note. I meant to say this. This is this is not this is not true. All right. All right. So thanks so much for uh, taking the time to watch this video. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here to for updates and more cool uh, vector calculus videos such as this. Um, you can find more videos on my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.